good people. An interesting thing. I just found my Sky RC GPS speed tracker. I looked for it for like two days. Couldn't find it. Haven't used it in like three years. Anyway, I finally found it. And I couldn't get it to work. And I'm thinking to myself, what did you do wrong? Is there like some sort of firmware update? Do I have to plug it into a laptop? So I went into the Apple iStore, right? You put in Sky RC and search. And it comes up with a couple Sky RC charger, blah, blah, blah. We don't want that. It comes up to two top options. RC gears, which is one I think we used to use. I don't know. My last phone that I used this on was an Android and I had no issues, but that was three years ago. There's a couple videos out that say, you know, you're supposed to use the RC gears one because that's what's on the package from Sky RC. However, mine is working on the GNS S performance thingy. And uh, that's just how it works. The GNSS performance application. We allow the thingies, we touch this, we select that, and look at that, Bob's your uncle. We're gonna do this for the track, and of course we're inside so it's not gonna see it, but I just wanted to show you that that's the application that works. You don't need any other applications. And now you're good to go. All right, so do not go to the other application. What one was the other application? Dur, dur, dur. Yeah, you do not need to use the RC Gears version. You want to use this one. GNSS performance application. It looks like this. Okay. Touch that, all the magic happens. Thanks for watching.